Don't get it twisted. Just because a nigga don't wear jewelry and shit don't mean that they don't know how to live a good life, all right? Jewelry's for niggas that need to get women. Jewelry and all that fancy jewelry and watches and shit, that's for you insecure niggas with pot bellies that can't get women with your good looks. You need some accessories to attract the woman. You need bracelets and chains and earrings, you know, to make her think that you got all this money that you don't. Hey, Gene, guess who I met? The guy you go to the most. When you down on your luck and you need the, uh, you need the dollar. Yeah, the dude that owned the pawn shop. You know how many times this nigga told me you done brought your jewelry to that, charm, that pawn shop? You better chill, nigga. <laughs> I don't even want to embarrass you like that. Nigga, you's a habitual pawn shop dealer. Like, you, they need to do pawn stores. They should record your ass one time coming in there and put that shit on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, that nigga be going to the pawn shop with his fucking jewelry. Yo, this is the chain I had on when I when I pulled big out the car. You know what I'm saying? You know, come on, man. Nah, man, nah. You can give me more than that. Yo, man, here's the pinky ring I wore when I was bodyguarding Puff in the Can't Hold Me Down video. Yo, I'm saying you can see it in the video. Come on, you can give me a few more dollars. I'm telling you, I, I, I get it back as soon as I do my next all the dialogue. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, tell niggas about you in the pawn shop, niggas. Like, you, let me chill, because I told them I ain't going to blow you up. I ain't going to blow him up. Yeah, but see, you you be, we floss it. So we know when you, when you are uh, coming on and you ain't got your chain on, yeah, that shit hanging up in the pawn shop. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you never know who you know out here in this world, man. This nigga got a, a relationship with the pawn I I ain't even know pawn. Well, I guess I do know pawn shops still exist. But I ain't think people... Of his caliber, still go to pawn shops. This nigga Gene be pawning his jewelry. <laughs> he fucking junkie. That nigga's a junkie. He probably fucking, he a lotto junkie. That's what he, he a fucking junkie on. Playing that dumb fucking numbers. Yo, Joe, I'm telling you, nigga. Nigga, I'm telling you. Word. Nigga called me at 3.34 a.m. in this morning, and he was talking deep. I said, I'm going to play that tomorrow. 3.34 a.m. I'm going to play that. I'm going to play that. Yeah, nigga, I played that shit. You know, nigga, I hit $250, nigga. Nigga said, this nigga don't, he don't live like me. You know what I mean? He ain't been, nigga. Stop, nigga. Stop. Stop playing, nigga. That little house in the, on the prairie you live in, nigga, you too big for the house. If you stand outside the house, nigga, you taller than the house. You know what I'm saying? You probably be taller, but you so fucking used to being hunched over and shit like that. Your fucking back is fucked up. This nigga, I'm telling you, he's staying outside his house, man. That nigga, he bigger than the whole fucking house. Watch him when he doing the show. You'll see him. That nigga be like this. The motherfucking ceiling be scraping his head. You go to his house and shit, you see... <laughs> You see hair grease on the ceiling. <laughs> he 
You go, you go to G house, you see hair grease on the ceiling and shit. From all the time, nigga bumped his head on the ceiling. Big ass nigga in that little ass house. This nigga be talking bad shit. Like he live in the mansion. Yeah, you live in the mansion for midgets. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell that nigga if I'm lying put both hands up in the air like this and jump up and down I guarantee you he can't do that tell that nigga stand up right move the camera back and tell him to put his hands all the way up and jump up and down. I guarantee you he'll bust his goddamn knuckles on the ceiling. As soon as he put his hand up. <laughs> Nigga know he too big for that fucking little ass house. I tell you, I think, I think you like King Kong living in the Chick-fil-A dwarf house. Nigga think he balling in the little house on the prairie. That shit is funny to me. Uh, niggas, niggas that don't even know how you live just because you don't display it. They, they, they assume they live better than you. Not with that little house, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, nigga. I seen uh, fucking houses on the Monopoly board bigger than that shit. <laughs> that little red house, some little red and green houses on the Monopoly board is bigger than that nigga house. Nigga talking all that shit. That nigga, shout out to Patrick. He spanked your ass on there. This, this nigga sitting there talking about, oh, we jumped Diddy in. Oh, you gangbang, huh? What's that you claim, nigga? Same gang, nigga? <laughs> we jumped Diddy in. That nigga ran from 145th to 127th Street. This nigga, Gene. He brought the gang bang in the Harlem. Okay, little St. Louis ass nigga. That nigga, see, he be talking about Harlem like he ain't from St. Louis. Nigga, I, I started slicking the family. You know what I mean? Okay, my nigga. So why it ain't Gene in the family? I just, I mean, why you name it after another nigga if you started it? I'm just saying. Why are you name it Slick in the family if you started it? Okay. Slick must be a slick nigga, man. That nigga must be slicker than a can of oil. Bible boy, go read your Bible, man. Don't ask me about when I'm going to get over all this stuff. Go read your Bible, man. Go read the Psalms, all right? No weapon of form against me shall prosper. Okay? Go read the the biblical the biblical uh story of Biggie. See, there's there's the thing, right? The nigga get on here and talk trash about me. I'll come back and I'll see some of the niggas that tell me, yo, Joe, why don't you chill? No. No. Tell us why you took that gun away from D-Rock, knowing that he was going to get in the car with Big, knowing that you've been warned that niggas was coming to get y'all. Why would you take the gun away from him? You ain't addressing that. 
can say all that other stuff you want to say, nigga. Why you take the gun away from D Rock? The only gun that would have been in the car with Big enough. That makes sense to anybody? He keeps telling this story about the dude, the, the Muslim dude. Nigga. First of all, Biggie wasn't your 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 uh your um What's the uh, word I'm looking for? Your subject. Your principal. Biggie wasn't your principal, right? Puff was, right? But you keep telling the story about Biggie, 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 and you was doing bodyguard work for Puff, right? But since you felt like Biggie was so much in danger, right, why don't you... Why did you take the gun away from D-Rock? 